All right, guys, here we go. Uh, another update on the wagon. We've got the front end assembled pretty much how it's going to lay. Matt had asked earlier um, about how the front steering was going to work. So I wanted to kind of show you guys what was up there. Uh, rear axles, uh, really one of the last things. I just need to cut it down and actually weld it into the uh, rear axle housing there. It's just a round rod. Anyway, back up here to the front, I have left one of the shocks off so I can kind of show you guys how this works. So um, from the bottom here, we can see I've got my spindles with my tie rod ends. And the tie rod led up to a U-joint on here. And as we turn the U-joint, it turns the tires on both sides. And uh, if we take this thing and set it down, without the one shock, it's going to sag on the one side a little bit. Um, we can see that everything's pretty well lined up and uh, we can turn it there and even as we put it through the suspension travel um, the tires stay pretty much in line and the steering still works. I'm not sure if I'm hitting that or not because I can't reach and see the screen at the same time so hope you get the gist of it. But anyway, that is how the steering will work. Um, the steering stops are actually just when it hits right here and I've welded a little, or not welded, I've cut a little niche. I don't know if you can even see it in there. And so I'm going to try to get it to turn just a little sharper. I want it to almost hit right here. So I'm going to uh, grind both of those. So this one's the one hitting right now, which is preventing this one from turning any farther. So I'm going to grind on that until that's a little closer. And then again on the other one until this is a little closer. Um, Weld on the rear axle and a few more odds and ends. Uh, make sure this shock is uh, mounted up properly. And at that point, um, we're about ready for paint. So anyway, I just might pull this off and have this thing ready for the kids' Christmas.